This week, none other than legendary investor Michael Bari makes a comeback on his Twitter account to share another apocalyptic warning about overvalued markets and the epic asset bubble burst that's about to be triggered by rampant inflation and higher interest rates. Earlier this year, the investor alerted that the U.S. was on the path to face Weimar-like hyperinflation. He argued that government monetary policies were inviting inflation by adding trillions of stimulus money to the financial markets, overlooking the national debt and fueling consumer demand in times when employee and supply chain costs have been skyrocketing. Burry argued that America will face some major paradigm shift that can only be compared to what happened to Germany in the 1920s, and up until this point, his forecast is seemingly worryingly accurate. During that period, Germany's markets and businesses were booming, just like we're seeing now in the United States, with the demand for goods and assets much greater than the available supply, leading prices to all-time highs. Like the dollar today, the exchange rate of the German mark against other currencies rose for quite a while, and there was a short span right on inflation's eve in which the German mark was actually considered the strongest currency in the world. And while the government fueled the market's progress during that time, side by side with the wealth were the pockets of poverty. Greater numbers of people remained on the outside of the easy money, looking in but not able to enter, he wrote reminding his followers that in those times, social tensions have exponentially grown, much like the demonstrations and the series of offenses that have been taking place all across the country over the past year. Similar to what we've been witnessing since the beginning of the health crisis-induced economic recession, back then many fortunes arose overnight, while the cities remained plagued by turbulence and chaos. People were extremely exhausted by the breakneck pace of rising prices, watching their own precarious positions slip, while others grew so conspicuously rich, Michael Burry noted, adding that in that period in Germany, almost any kind of business could make money. A clear reference to the bankrupt businesses that made billions in the stock market this year after a new generation of retail investors entered in the market with their stimulus checks. And in a matter of weeks, the group known as Reddit Raiders managed to send stocks to record highs, including bankrupt video game retailer GameStop, whose stock price shot up by 3,000%. The event has changed the market's trend, and at the current stage, all the leading stocks have become extremely overvalued. Almost a century ago, Germany was experiencing a different version of the same frenzy. Michael Burry says, the boom suspended the normal processes of natural selection by which the non-essential and ineffective otherwise would have been called out. Speculation alone, while adding nothing to Germany's wealth, became one of its largest activities. The fever to join in turning a quick mark infected nearly all the classes of the country. Everyone from the elevator operator up was playing the market. The volumes of turnover in securities on the Berlin Bourse became so high that the financial industry could not keep up with the paperwork and the Berlin boss was obliged to close several days a week to work off the backlog, shared the investor, citing the temporary shutdown of the trading platform Robinhood back in January, after the unprecedented demand for meme stocks led big hedge funds to lose billions of dollars. The similarities don't stop quite there, since Germany saw its strong currency suddenly become worthless in face of a major inflationary collapse. At that time, authorities have enabled the inflation cycle to run for years. Burry indicated that's exactly what the US government is currently doing. 
especially now that dollars are falling from the sky and management teams are having the opportunity to get creative and take more risk by paying out debt finance dividends to investors or investing in risky growth opportunities, which in his view has beaten a frugal mentality hands down. All of which led to Burry's latest tweet warning yesterday, saying, People always ask me what is going on in the markets. It is simple. The greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things. By two orders of magnitude. Hashtag Flying Pigs 360, he wrote. Now, the hashtag was a reference to a popular saying in investing. Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Michael Burry has repeatedly alerted that investors are being too greedy, speculating wildly, taking on too much risk and expecting unrealistic returns. The investor, who is best known for his billion-dollar bet against the U.S. housing bubble in the mid-2000s, immortalized in the book and the movie The Big Short, has complained many times about his warnings being bluntly ignored. That's why his display name on Twitter is Cassandra, referring to the Greek mythology priestess who was cursed by the gods to share true prophecies that no one would ever believe. His latest tweets have echoed many of his other cautions. He compared the hype surrounding Bitcoin, Tesla cars, and meme stocks to the dot-com and housing bubbles. A couple of months ago, he said the stock market was dancing on a knife's edge, and amongst the factors he sees as signs of an imminent new crash are rising investors' debt to leverage their positions and out-of-control speculation. The phenomenon of boosting stocks seen as undervalued, such as game store chain GameStop, further increases that risk, according to Burry. He has urged investors to be cautious this time around, when stocks are at extreme levels. In early April, the Scion Asset Management chief deleted his Twitter profile after sounding the alarm on overvalued stocks and facing major backlash for that. He disclosed he was short on Tesla as well as GameStop, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Robinhood, SPAX, inflation, and the broader stock market. However, on Monday, he resumed tweeting. And on Tuesday morning, he warned of the biggest market bubble in history, suggesting that his worries about growing inflation and speculation only grew during his 10-week hiatus from social media. Rampant speculation and widespread betting with borrowed money have driven the stock market to the brink of collapse, Barry has said. Speculative stock bubbles ultimately see the gamblers taking on too much debt, he outlined, while exposing recent data that shows the S&P 500 index and levels of margin debt have been soaring in recent months. He also said that the flow of cash from actively managed funds to index trackers and the surge of retail traders sharing investing tips on social media and touting these so-called meme stocks had helped to fuel the market bubble. Burry says passive investing's IQ drain and hashtag stockscoop hype add to the danger, Burry wrote. In another tweet, the Cyan Asset Management Chief underscored a massive spike in the volume of bullish call options being traded. He added the hashtags caution to the wind and hashtag blow off top to highlight that those types of wages are driving stocks to extreme levels. The latest market data shows that the investors' warnings are likely accurate as the market valuation rose to unprecedented levels, in line with what was seen in 2000 and among the highest ever recorded. Today, valuation metrics point to an extraordinarily overvalued market. For instance, equity value to GDP stands at the highest level since the 1950s. While the Wilshire 5000 total market index to GDP ratio hit a record high. Moreover, according to the Bull Bear survey conducted by the American Association of Individual Investors at the end of April, 
bullish investors largely outnumber the bearish investors by nearly 32 points. The survey is considered a contrarian indicator, and when the spread goes over 20 points, it means that there are concerning imbalances that can lead to a stock market crash. Another important contrarian indicator is the CBOE Volatility Index, or VEX, which indicates the fear of a market correction is at a very low level, meaning that investors are likely to shoulder much more risk than they actually should. While cash balances of professional money managers are well below historical levels, the ratio of insider deals to buys indicates that there are 143 sales for every buy by insiders, according to recent data from Richardson Wealth. That is to say, experienced investors are already selling off risky assets. On top of that, the emergence and popularity of leveraged loans and rising global debt are flashing red. So, even though a major sell-off all across the market can potentially occur and catalyze the next stock market crash, it seems very unlikely that this is going to happen right now amid one of the wildest market rallies in history. On the other hand, the most frequent catalyst of a bubble burst throughout history has been rising inflation and rising interest rates. And as Michael Burry fears, there's no way to turn around an inflationary collapse. Ever since the United States government and the Federal Reserve decided to suppress interest rates, they have in fact facilitated the formation of market bubbles, as the piles of printed money encourage large amounts of borrowing and margin investing, both of which can cause a lot of pain when rates rise. They've also contributed to feeding exuberance amongst investors, particularly those new generation retail traders who've seen fast growth companies as an opportunity to quickly make huge returns. But most of these companies, especially tech companies such as Google, Facebook, Apple, Tesla, registered such staggering so-called growth because their stock's valuations incorporate overly optimistic assumptions about the future, and at the end of the day, they are severely affected by rising interest rates. As for the housing market, it seems that the national average doesn't do justice to the absurdities seen in specific housing markets. In Boise, Idaho, housing prices skyrocketed 37% year over year. The national average might not be as high, but hey, it's crazy enough. House prices have soared nearly 17% from a year ago. That's the biggest increase since December 2005 on the eve before it all started to fall apart in 2006. Investors have been paying hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars over the asking price oftentimes overlooking inspections and other potential risks just to take advantage of the lower rates. They've been buying entire neighborhoods and creating an unsustainable environment for home buyers. Needless to say, this will not end well, especially considering that the housing market is extremely vulnerable to rising interest rates. The 90s.com mania and the following market crash happened in a rising rate environment. The Fed funds rate jumped from 4.27% at the end of 1998 to 6.5% by August 2000. The previous housing market crash and the subsequent Great Recession of 2008-9 also took place in a rising interest rate environment. The Fed funds rate climbed from about 1% in 2004 to 5.5% in 2007. With inflationary pressures mounting and increasingly more warnings making the headlines every day, it's safe to say that just as all prior bubbles, this too will burst, and we may be closer to that event than we think.